Hi everyone, so time for another video. Um, following on from yesterday's video where we did uh, a virtual FortiGate deployment in Google Cloud. Uh, in today's video, we're going to do the exact same, but in Microsoft Azure. Um, I'm much more comfortable with Microsoft Azure. Um, there seems to be a real interest in um, Azure deployments uh, and most of the customers that I've worked with over the, the last few years have had a preference of Azure. Um, so what I've done is I've logged into the Azure portal, then we need to browse to Marketplace. And then we can just talk, search for 40 nets. I suppose we could just probably search for 40 gate as well, but we'll just show you there's lots of different products that you're able to deploy in Azure, Analyzer, Seam, web uh azure virtual one might do a video on that at some point 40 mail um but the next one the one that we want to do is uh fortinet 40 48 next generation firewall click into that um if you're doing this in an, in a production uh, environment it's not like a demo like what we're doing here you probably want to go for one of these so active passive ha with fabric connector failover um, that's the one that i generally deploy for customers active active um, with azure load balancers or active passive with azure load balancers just to explain that a little bit there's a there's a load balancer that sits on the outside interface and the inside interface um, make sure you do your reading up about um, what the implications of having a load balancer in front of the appliance means and what um, ports and protocols are and are not allowed through it. Um, generally, I like the active-passive HA with Fabric Connector Failover. Um, basically, without going into too much detail, it's a video in itself. There's a little script that runs on the FortiGate appliance that has an API um, set up to Azure. Um, when the gate notices that there is a failover event, it makes an API call over to Azure um, and it moves the public IP address from one instance to another. Um, generally, for this video though, we're going to do single VM deployment because it's nice and easy and we don't need to be spending lots of cash. So click create, pay as you go. We're going to create a new resource group. Um, just to explain, resource groups are extremely useful. It's basically uh, an area where you put all the components um, in from a certain project. So uh, best example that I can give is I, if I create an, um, a resource group here um, for this particular project and then I decide that I don't want it, um, I can just destroy everything within inside that resource group um, and everything will get deleted. Generate some passwords. Site B, we'll do bring your own, page you go, no, we'll do page you go, and we'll do 725 to bring in line with everything else. Um, don't need that. Availability option, we don't care about availability. We want to absolute cheapest. Um, so one CPU, 3.5, that will do just fine. So like that one, yeah. Um, it's going to create a VNet for me. Um, just the default is is fine. It's going to add this into the resource group. You need a public IP. We're not going to connect it to a party manager yet. We will be doing that in future videos. You get a little box up here. You can see that it's doing the deployment. This box here spins up. It'll take about five minutes to do the deployment. I'll skip forward the video. See which public IP address I've been assigned. 
So this is the public IP that I've been assigned here. Oh, there we are. So it just took a, a little longer to boot. So this is the public IP address. Browse to it. Credentials. Pop stick that in last pass. Later, turn this off. Check the usual. Uh, license is still pulling through, but it's um, a VM01, folding a RAM. Auto scaling's off. Execute ping 8.8.8. So that wraps up this video. Um, we just did a new virtual gate deployment in Microsoft Azure. Um, we In the previous video, we did uh, a virtual 40 gate deployment in Google Cloud. Um, and in the next video, we will do a virtual gate deployment in Amazon Web Services. Uh, once we've got that, then we will look at linking them all together um, with a mini SD-WAN AD VPN solution across all the major public cloud providers. Uh, and then beyond that, we will look at how to get the best out of Forty Manager across the estate, how to use templates, variables, um, that kind of thing. Um, as always, if you like the content, um, please let me know in the comments. Hit the like button and press the subscribe button, and we shall see you in the next few days for the next video. Speak soon.